Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. This is part of our beginning beekeeper series here. Uh, this is a winter, late winter hive check we're doing. The, this year we kind of left the hives alone. We put on our insulated inner covers, we put the sugar cakes in, and we just left them because experience has proven that uh, with our insulated inner cover for the winter and the big sugar cake, which we have some videos about, there'll be a link at the end of the show or down below here, uh, they do pretty good in the winter here. This is Northwest Connecticut. But now it's March 8th. It's really warm out today, so it's okay to open the hives. Usually when it's above 40 degrees, you can pop the hive open. If you have to, if it's 30, you could pop it real quick. We're not opening the whole hive. We're just gonna make sure there's enough sugar in here and we're gonna add in protein patties. These, yeah. These you can buy from beekeeping supply houses. Um, this helps them kind of get a head start on raising some brood and it's some good energy food for them. Can you make that yourself? Uh, yes, you can. I've never done that. We have, um, these are our sugar cakes here. And I, when I made this one uh, last week, I sliced it into four pieces and let it dry. And it, it kind of came apart a little bit, but that's the nature of sugar. It looks just like the snow. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you made that up. We've got our hives strapped down for the winter. For the wind? For the wind protection. And then we always have our hives strapped for the bear. Uh, we have a bear problem here. So the idea is that the bear gets through the electric fence they will, uh, if they topple the hives, maybe the strap will keep the hive together. Maybe. You want to be as quiet as possible when you're doing this. You don't want to slam this against the hive. You don't want to disturb the bees more than you w they have to be disturbed. Can you hear them? Um, I can't, but the camera operator can. Um, her hearing is better. But you can put your ear up here. I heard them a few weeks ago. I hear something in there. Yeah, it's very faint. Sometimes you open the hive and you don't see any bees. It's okay, put the hive back together. They're in there. The idea here is we're not opening the whole hive. This is minimal check we're doing. And you absolutely don't want them to get wet, right? No, wet bees are dead bees. If you notice here, when I wrapped it with insulation last fall, uh, the tar paper, I didn't cover the insulated inner cover because I knew we were gonna pry it back open and this way I don't have to cut away the tar paper. See here, this is the insulation that keeps the top of the hive from creating condensation. It's not even sealed, is it? Oh. I'm gonna move this this way. I'm gonna put the patty face down with the wax paper up. So they don't have to chew through it. Right, and they'll clean up the wax paper. You, it's amazing what they will clean up. And uh, I hear one or two flying around. Here they are. Ooh. They just, they have a really good feel in there. They sounded good. And if you can get your bees through winter, that's a big deal up here. So this is the top entrance of our insulated inner cover. And you can see here some brown markings. That's a good sign, right? That's, well, that's bee poop and it shows that they are they have some dysentery or nosema. It's basically uh, bee diarrhea. That's a sign that they've come out of the hive to do cleansing flights. So bees don't poop in the hive during the winter. They just hold it all in, and then when they can fly, they let it go. It's kind of interesting when they come out and they flying poop. But uh, <laughs> um, in the spring, we will treat for that, uh, the dysentery, the bee diarrhea, with some uh, you can use like Honey Bee Healthy or essential oils or some Fumigillin if you uh, want to do a medication in your sugar syrup. So that's what we do. How do you decide which one? Uh, I think it's how you feel you want to raise your bees. This is a little later in the day. You can see the bees coming out of the top, going on cleansing flights. Moving on to the next one. So this is a shorter hive. This hive is slightly smaller, um, but this is a good hive. Ah, uh, that's not a good sign. Uh, we might have a dead hive here. Do you hear anything? No. I think we lost a hive. It's a lot of times you're not gonna know 
why it is they died. They chewed um, right through here. Yeah, I mean, that's what the sugar cake is there for. Is, you know. So they had food. There's plenty of, uh, you can't really see it in the video here, but there's plenty of food down in here. It might have been the, something went through the hive. It's just, it's really hard to know. We won't know till we open up in the spring. Do you hear anything? No. So uh, we're just going to leave this one here, but we'll uh, we'll take it apart in the spring. Darn. That's so disappointing. I mean, they quote my friend Rick, they're bees in a box. Bugs in a box. Bugs in a box, I'm sorry. I messed up the quote. <laughs> so this hive has ample food stores. I wonder if they got wet. Um, it would show if, if they got wet. How? There's um, no mold on the top of this. Completely dry there. This is a good sign that the insulated inner cover works well. Yeah. Thank you, Philippe, by the way, from uh, mudsongs.org. Mudsongs.org. It's a great beekeeping blog. Um, he gave me the idea to build this thing. But there's no mold here, so there wasn't a condensation problem here. I don't know. It's a hard one. And the third hive. So I put my ear to that one, didn't hear anything either. This is the hive that we got from a swarm in Brooklyn. This is the mean hive, right? Yes. These guys are cranky girls. The sugar is not eaten. I don't see anyone coming to the top, you hear it? I hear nothing. Okay, that doesn't mean anything, so we're still gonna treat this as a live hive. So I'm just gonna turn this and bring it back here with the wax paper facing up. They eat, you know, the open side facing down so they can just come up and eat it. Here's a couple of shots of our hives and our other bee yard. I wanted to show you what healthy looking hives do with the sugar cake. You can see they've eaten part of it and they're bringing it down to the feed the cluster. All right, there you go. Some more uh, beginning beekeeping for you. We have a, I think we have like 15 beginning beekeeping videos now on our site and also on uh, YouTube as well. There's a YouTube playlist and on our site, there's a link to all the other videos right below here. If you have some thoughts or questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments right below here. I answer, I try and answer back as much as I can with that kind of thing. He does, he's very busy. And you could also sign up for our email newsletter. There's a link below here for our newsletter or send an email to news at gardenfork.tv and you get an auto response with a link and you sign up. So, uh, so we had good luck with one of the hives, bad luck with one hive, and then the third hive, not sure, but we'll keep you updated as what's going on. So make a great day, go out, go do stuff, let me know what you're doing. All you right? have other hives to check too, don't you? Yeah, we have our other hives. Blah. We have our other hives to check as well. So go do something cool and then tell me about it, right? <laughs> See it.